Hey foodies and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this quick and easy bear battered codfish recipe. Now let's get started. So these are the codfish loins that I'm gonna be using for this recipe. Of course, you wanna make sure you wash them off well and you wanna make sure you pat these dry. That way there is no moisture in them so they can get nice and crispy. So now we can start seasoning up our fish. So since it is fish, I do like to use a lemon pepper seasoning just to cut down on that raw taste. I'm also going to be using some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some Old Bay seasoning. And I just went ahead and seasoned this to taste, but just keep in mind, this is fish. You don't wanna add too much seasoning because it will be salty. But you also do wanna make sure you add a generous amount of seasoning, okay? We do not want any bland fish. But if you guys do need a guide of how much seasoning to put on your fish, you can check the description box. I will have accurate measurements there. So now that we are done seasoning our fish, we're gonna go ahead and coat that fish in flour. And this is just to help the wet batter stick to it. So make sure that fish is fully coated in that flour. You're gonna have to go ahead and flip it over on all sides and once it is fully coated you're going to go ahead and shake off that excess and then you're going to set that aside so i can batter the rest of my codfish so you're just going to go ahead and repeat those same steps go ahead and dip it into that flour make sure it is well coated on all sides go ahead and shake off that excess and then we're just going to keep doing it until all of our cod fillets are coated Okay, so now that I'm all done, I can go ahead and move on to making my wet batter. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to add one cup of self-rising flour, four tablespoons of cornstarch, and one-fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to go ahead and season up my batter the same way I seasoned up my fish. I'm going to be using some Old Bay seasoning, some Cajun seasoning, some lemon pepper seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. Now go ahead and mix everything together and at this point you can go ahead and taste the flour to see if it is seasoned to your liking. Once everything is all combined you're going to crack one egg and add that to your batter. Make sure that is whisked together and now we are going to go in with our beer. Now what you want to do is you just want to add it in little by little. You want it to be the consistency of pancake mix. So you're going to use about a cup and a half of beer and the trick is make sure the beer is really cold that ensures that your batter is going to be nice and crispy so now that we got our wet batter to a smooth pancake like consistency it is time to start coating our fish so you just want to go ahead and dump that directly into the wet batter make sure it is fully submerged you're going to go ahead and let the wet batter drip that way when you put it in the hot oil it's not still dripping Once they are nice and coated, you're going to go ahead and dip it directly into your oil. I'm going to be using canola oil for this recipe. Before you place it in, you want to make sure that oil is at a temperature between 350 and 375. Now you're going to go ahead and let your codfish cook for about 3 minutes on each side. Depending on how thick your codfish is, it might take a little bit longer, but codfish realistically does not take that long to cook. You're going to go ahead and flip that over so you can cook the other side. Now once your codfish is nice and golden crispy, go ahead and remove it from that oil and you're going to place it right on a cooling rack so it can cool off and not get super soggy. I hope you guys enjoy this easy recipe. It was super easy to make. You can use this for fish tacos, you can make a fish sandwich with it, or you can dip it in some homemade tartar sauce and eat it with some fries. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next recipe.